I'm inside the Mustang right now and uh, today we're going to be working on this car. Harry is outside getting the lift arms basically placed under the car so we can lift it up in the air. I don't know if you guys know this, but here's a fun fact for you. Through everything that this Mustang has been through, the nine second pass that it ran, everything, and all the races that it's had, I've been running the stock shifter this entire time and the stock transmission like you guys know. So today, uh, we're going to be installing a short throw shifter into this car to hopefully improve some of these shifts a little bit more. Let me hop out. I so check this out. I actually went ahead and already looked at the shift knob, so oops. In this package here, we've got this gorgeous Hurst short throw shifter for the car. It's like a similar style shift knob that I have already. Only difference is we just have a shorter throw rod here. Uh, I think the shift knob placement should be the same, huh? To do this though, unfortunately, we're gonna have to pull most of the exhaust off, take the drive shaft off of the transmission, drop the transmission down in the back, and uh, we're gonna have to pull the shift knob off of the top, pull all the trim off of here to be able to drop it down, take off the linkage once we get the linkage out and we've got to install this new shifter into the shifter housing and then put it all back in and redo the whole entire car so hopefully it makes a really drastic improvement because it is quite a bit of work for just a simple shifter change i'm not gonna lie yeah, you're not gonna be able to get it off my hand. I got a, I got a little idea on how to get that shift knob off. So that shift knob is actually on there with Loctite the last time that we put it on. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get it off. All right, I'm gonna try to keep the shift knob pretty clean. Harry's got a similar car. He's got an 18 Mustang, so I'm gonna try to keep it in order. That way he can have it. All right, sorry Harry. Oh, there he goes. Holy crap. Ah, I pinched my finger so bad. Oh, ah, holy crap. It's actually not too, too bad if you want it still. Okay, now I've got to pull oh, this little shifter trim out right here. There we go. The shifter boot is off. Now I need a little punch and a hammer. Okay, that's not going to work. I am really not sure of how to get this thing out here. It says just to punch it out like this. Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Get out of there. I really wish that we could have a trans jack under here to support this weight because I really don't want it here, sagging on everything. No, I got you. Oh, you got it? I got you. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to now pull the transmission cross brace right here to draw out the back of the transmission down because up you're going to, there's no way you're going to be able to see this. Where my hand is right now, can you see my middle finger? There's a uh, there's a bolt. We got to take that one bolt out because Harry says that that is the only bolt that is holding up the entire shifter linkage. And then somehow we've got to rotate it around to get it out of there. The only thing that I'm kind of nervous about, like I said, is we're not going to take off the drive shaft. We're not taking off the exhaust. We're trying to be lazy and we don't have a transmission jack to support the weight. So hopefully the drive shaft doesn't get damaged or anything yeah, like that. We can actually make a trans jack. How? With the rim? Pipes. Yeah, with that rim. And then uh, wherever it's A couple at, pipes and, and we can pipe, make it. And then a pipe that fits inside the other pipe with a lock. Poe gonna get here and we're gonna be like, bro, look what we <laughs> We welding everything out here, son. Come on, there's gotta be something that we can use creative. <laughs> hey, oh, it's nasty. <laughs> get the money out of friends I never had. They come and get something from me. I don't think Poe will mind if we use it, huh? Because he, uh, he threw it away. Poe, if you're watching this, we're using your wheels. I ain't worried about Everyone that. liked that shit, bro. They were like, damn, bro, what the hell happened? <laughs> Rebar, bro. All right, let me pull it out, and then we'll lower the doors down and hit the road, Jack. Oh, yeah, still starts up perfect. It's been a minute since I drove this truck. I ain't even gonna lie. Look at the new Holly EFI banners on the side, too. It's just so nasty. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait to show you guys the rest of the stuff that we got. We got to get started on this thing soon. It's going to be nuts. Harito! It looks so much better in here now that we cleaned up. We got two racks that uh, we've been stacking all the parts and everything on. And now the whole entire place looks brand new almost. This thing looks like a whole functioning shop in here now. Look how sick the little Miata looks. Look at that little RX-7 over there. All right, we made it over here to the store. We're gonna run inside, look for some pipe real quick. So I'm not sure exactly how it happened, but <laughs> we walked in to find materials to build a trans jack and we ended up buying a trans jack. This is the only place in town that we've found that actually had one. So what we could do, stand it up? 
You gonna ride back there? What you mean? What you, you gonna mean? chain it? The reason why we went ahead and picked this up is because like I said, our design that we were gonna do doesn't have an actual jack, so it wouldn't pick up anything. We would just be able to support weight and tighten down to hold it. This is gonna actually allow the uh, a jacking to be able to pick a transmission up into the uh, spot that we needed. So that's gonna be handy. We needed one anyways, might as well just pick it up. She, are you hungry? She's trying to eat. <laughs> No, no, we're not doing this. Yeah, no, we're not doing this. Where are you gonna? Where you wanna eat at? Last time, then Poe, then me. No, when did you pick? What'd you pick? I picked Chick Fil A like two times in a row. No, you didn't. I said the second time. I was like, you wanna go back to Chick Fil A again? You were like, yeah, that's fine. So what you wanna pick? Oh, you old man, you can't be doing this shit. From now on, if you don't pick, we're just gonna go to Chick Fil A every single day. <laughs> you wanna go unload this trans jack first, and we'll have time to think. That sounds great. Subway sounds great. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, we got a trans jack. Let's try this thing out now and see how she works. Boy, there ain't no way it goes this slow. It should have a quick, quick thing so you can get it up there fast. Oh, what you doing? Oh. Right, let me tighten it real quick and we'll see. Why did it come down? I'm t it's tight. Yeah, I'm just curious to see how high it actually goes. So I know for future how high we can have it. That's max. That's pretty high. Yeah, we wouldn't need it that high anyway, so that's good. We'll just take it out and lower the car down a little bit. Watch out, Hattie. Hey, look, watch. I got an idea. Boom. Right. Got him. Okay, so our transmission mount is loose. Now we can lower down the trans jack. <laughs> <laughs> it's already off of it. What the hell? How are you going to get the shifter out? I don't know. That was gonna be my next question. That's what's holding it. The exhaust. Oh yeah. Zit 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 zit. And take off this whole exhaust as one piece. How how do you do that? Zit 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 zit. Oh, I guess we just gotta take the whole exhaust off. Pinche puñeta. I be in the kitchen looking pies on my baby. Yeah. What if I took this bolt out and this whole thing fell on my face? Oh. Hold up them two mufflers real quick. All right, you hold it the back. I got right, the front. You got it? Oh! It dropped so fast. <laughs> it gave no warning. God, I hate this shit. What's it caught on? I see why people go turbo now. This exhaust is heavy. Yeah. Oh, this is the easiest we've ever taken this exhaust. It is, dude. Lifts are nice. You want to try and lower it again? Oh, wait, we're going to have to take the drive shaft off still, huh? Yep. Yeah, I don't know why I'm even doing that. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, uh, I didn't even I didn't even put that thing on there yet. So it was just loose. Great. Hopefully that one's not loose. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my God! It's already. <gasps> oh my God! I told you. Uh uh. Nah. -uh. Nope. <laughs> All the drive shaft bolts that hold the shaft itself. The, there's a joint right here, and every single bolt was literally just barely hand tight. That is not good. We should probably check all of them in that case while we're under here. Oh yeah, look at that, dude. You can easily get to the shifter now. Everything is so easy with a lift. This is beautiful. Give me a little bungee. Actually, look. If we zip tie it up here, zip ties are the answer for everything. <clears throat> I wonder how that dude thought of that. He's like, I want to make something out of plastic that's going to be so useful. It's going to hold half the cars in the world together. <laughs> Even race cars. All right, now let me lower this thing down. That's all the space we ever needed. Hell yeah. And now there's just 112 up there holding it, right? Let me feel. Tis a 10. There's no backup nut, so we just need one 10 millimeter wrench. Oh, there's one more bolt. Oh, mm. uh oh, I don't like whenever this happens because I know what's coming. <laughs> My hand's about to get pinched somewhere. Oh, come on. It's so hard to tell what we're even doing up here, but there's just one more bolt on top of the output shaft of the transmission. You really couldn't even see it if I wanted to show you where it's at. You can do it. You got it, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, check that out. We've got the whole shifter out. That's so weird. Look at how weird, yeah. Whenever you move this to the left, it moves that to the right, or clockwise. Move it to the right, it moves it counterclockwise, forward, moves it backwards, backwards moves it forward, first gear, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc. Kind of interesting. Now the next step is we've got to take this thing apart, right? From the factory, boy. Zip ties from the factory. What do you know about that? Oh boy. Look in there. That is white lithium grease. Bah, bah, bah. No player slack or anything either. Alright, let's take this apart in the back and see what we got. All right, now we pull this off. Keep that clean. Oh, okay, and then there's 
Two more 10 millimeters. I got the 10 millimeter. It goes out that way. Mmm, looky That's there. Really... This just pops off? Yeah. All right, son, eat that thing. I'm gonna hold it, you pull it. Maybe a lock tight. Oh. Okay, what is this little new thing for? And this little thing? Oh, I ain't never did this before, no. Oh! <laughs> I just got all in my mouth and everything. <laughs> Alright, now we need this little bushing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why'd you leave this off? Because I don't know where it goes. <laughs> so you just got, yeah, we're just gonna not using that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it goes right here. That goes on the back of this. Why does it go right there? Okay, now what is this for? The instructions don't say. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. Mm, that's a new Oh, reverse. it's a new reverse lockout. Yep. Damn, that be looks good. Shorter. Oh, because mm -hmm, it's a shorter shifter. Yeah. I got you. Because if not, it'd be like way up here on the. This Yo, thing. all right, we're gonna spray some more on here. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna do that, my bad. It has all the. God! All right, so this slides through the top again. I don't no, remember. No, no, no. You have to put that in there first. That goes like yeah. that. There. Little plate goes over there, right here. Let's see, little snap on. Now, where's the other pieces? This all stays OEM, right? Yeah, you put that in there and that in there. Okay, let me go ahead and. Inside that hole right there, yes. That's nice and greased up, bro. <laughs> okay. All right, I see now. Wait, what? <laughs> hey. Okay, now that was it? Yep, I put the gasket in. Wasn't so bad, though. It actually wasn't bad at all. Oh. That's... Hmm. I'm interested to see how that's going to feel. I don't think it shouldn't... It shouldn't be a huge reduction, but just enough. What? Instructions. This is the most reduction you can get <laughs> <laughs> out of any street shifter. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, it's gonna be ready for all them shifts. Now this goes over here. All right, are we done? Now this goes over. That goes over the back right here. Oh, oh, get it all in there. <laughs> it's so nasty. Oh yeah. Let's see what it. Sure, so. That should be ready for install. This is back on the front. This goes back on there like that. We just did a whole short throw in like five minutes. Oh, uh, shit. I don't think that's in the hole. All right, we're going to finish buttoning this thing up and we're going to definitely make sure that these drive shaft bolts are tightened. <laughs> let me just, let me hop up there and test to make sure it's working before we put the drive shaft and everything back in the way. Oh, <laughs> first. I don't have a second. Harry. What? I don't have a second. Nope. First. It doesn't go to second. I want to break it. First. No second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. We're going to have to start the car. To try to get it to get the synchros to turn. I'm thinking maybe it's just locked up and not wanting to go in second because of that. How loud do you think this is going to be? Very. We're in a closed shop. Hey. <laughs> go ahead. Going to second? I found out why I didn't have second because it was in reverse. I thought it was first. <laughs> the lockout's not on there. I went all the way over up and it was first. It was reverse. <laughs> the short throw shifter is legitimately so short that like you barely turn it over. Sounds good as hell with no exhaust on it. Yeah, it's, it's loudish. That's actually first. That's actually second. That's third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I'm dumb. It was actually, look, I'm telling you, it's so short now that where first normally is, is all the way in reverse. It's like, look, you go over like half an inch and you're up in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Yeah, I was putting it in, in first and then the backup camera came on. I was like, mother... Ugh. Okay, we are good to finish putting on the, the shifter and the drive shaft and the trans support and the everything else. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm gonna grab these bolts. I'm gonna put them in my pocket. Are you ready? Get set. I'll go. <sighs> Dang, that's why it keeps fouling my O2 sensors right there. That's weird. I wonder why they're storing water. Should we drill a bigger hole in the muffler down there at the bottom? Because look, they're steadily dripping. <laughs> yep, I got it. <laughs> Now you gotta put the hangers up. <laughs> okay, here, look. <laughs> Hold it. 
Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Lift up the back and set it on there. Slowly, because it's like right close to it, but I'm gonna try and get it perfectly centered and hopefully not screw it up. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna lift it up and you just set it on these hangers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Set it on that finger. Oh, shit. Okay, oh. All right, the exhaust is all tied back up. We're gonna go ahead and lower the thing down. That way we can get on the inside of the car and start to sip. Ooh, it got stuck on the lock. Okay, there we go. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and lower the thing down now. Once we get the car on the ground, we're gonna get inside and finish working on the reverse lockout and everything else. <sighs> yep. <laughs> um, all right. Let me hop in here <laughs> and I guess I'll explain what just now happened. So we get inside the car and we're going to assemble the rest of the part because you know we're finished. <laughs> so anyways, we've got our reverse lockout right here and it's got this little slotted deal right here and that's where you put your bolt in that holds the reverse lockout to the shifter. So we start looking, we put the reverse lockout on. We start looking over here on the side and we're trying to figure out where the bolt hole is for the, uh, for the shifter. There's normally a hole right here that you thread in a little bolt and that's what keeps it from going into reverse it blocks it it's a reverse lockout well we're looking for the hole harry's looking for the hole and i started laughing because i noticed the hole is on this side <laughs> and the problem with it being on this side is that in the instructions right there that we just now went and checked it says it's supposed to be on the left side so what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to drill and tap this one. <laughs> you ain't gonna lie, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like taking off this whole motherfucker again. So we're gonna have to either figure something out or we gotta take the entire center con I mean not center console, sorry, the entire cat back, the entire drive shaft, everything off the car again, the transmission mounts, everything, lower the transmission back down, take the shifter back off, <laughs> take it back out. <laughs> Just to swap out this little rod and flip it around solely because we were too lazy <laughs> to read one line in the instructions that said that it needs to be on the left side specifically it was on the left side if you look from the bottom so. yeah if you're <laughs> if you're looking from the bottom it was on the left side <laughs> this hurts my soul it's like it really hurt hit me right here whenever i saw that now Hearst makes some great products i'm not gonna lie Hearst is like the number one name for pretty much all shifters it seems like but um a little <laughs> this much frustration <laughs> because they could have they could have put this hole on both sides to where it wouldn't matter which side you put the shifter in because i feel like a lot more people have made this mistake than just me and harry you sure i need a reverse lockout We're just gonna see how hard it would be to drive it without it. I'm just gonna back it up a few times in the shop. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I really, really, really do not at all want to put this thing back together or take it all back apart. This is extraordinarily low. I'm gonna miss all the gears now. Hopefully not, that would suck really bad. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that AC feels great in my race car. Oh yeah, well, let's say if we wanted to go into reverse, Reverse, reverse is pretty easy. Well, let's say if we wanted to go into first. Yep, that's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> yep, it's gotta have that reverse lockout in there. <laughs> All around me are familiar Faces. Daniel, play the depressing song by Trace and Mello. What's I'm gonna just stare. I'm gonna stare at the shifter with this song playing. <laughs> Bro, this is so ass. All right, now what the f are we gonna do to fix this? Shit? God, yeah, it's impossible. Like, you, it's definitely gonna have the lockout. <laughs> okay, fast forward about I don't know two hours, and Harry managed to actually get. The entire shifter linkage corrected, or not shifter linkage, but the shifter itself corrected, and it's put back together now. Thank you, Hattie. 
This thing is so low. Oh, I see now. Okay, hang on. You have to put Loctite on this and you can't thread it all the way down because if you thread it all the way down, yeah, the reverse lockout won't go up. Where's the, um, where's that little set, that lock nut? Hey, you know what we could do? Is put Loctite on this. On the little lock nut. Oh, it's red Loctite. I don't know if I'm, I don't want to say it, but this thing is so different that I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to drive it. It's so much lower. Oh, try driving my car and try banging gears. No, but I've gotten great at the stock shifter. And now look, instead of it being this tall, it's like this tall. Hang on, can you open the door real quick? I wanna drive it around. I'm gonna go right around the block real quick and just try to shift through the gears a few times. I wanna test it out and see how short these actually are. Guys, this shifter is freaking butter. There's a lot of shifters in the Mustang game and a lot of people hype up a lot of the other shifters, but this is pretty nice. gosh that is freaking sick oh my god i'm honestly really impressed look how short now i don't even remember exactly what reduction this is but if i had to guess i think it's like a, a 15 percent reduction or so look at the side to side action in neutral there's like none and it springs back immediately back to center bam bam right back to center This is sick. The stock shifter feels like butter. It's like kind of like, <laughs> it's kind of loose still and buttery feeling. This one is more notchy, race feeling. It's a lot shorter and a lot firmer. It feels just like, I don't even know. This is like the suit and tie of shifters. Whereas the stock shifter is like the sweatpants and t-shirt. Stock shifter is really comfortable but you don't want to go to a business meeting with it. This is, it's the same thing with this. This is like, the stock shifter is great. You're really not going to want to bang gears with it, but it feels fantastic. This one is super classy feeling, really firm, very solid, and is going to probably do the job amazing, being that it feels like that. I'm honestly really impressed. It feels so cool too, because I'm actually right up on the steering wheel now that we got the new Kirky seat in. So the hand placement of where the shifter is, is like flawless. It's great. I don't even have to lift my hand off of, you see where my palm is placed? I can place it on the console. I don't even have to lift it off to be able to shift now. amazing initial thoughts 10 out of 10 complete perfection the shifter is freaking great very minimal side to side very very firm i gotta rate this thing like 100 percent i gotta do one pull just to verify that the shifter is gonna work for what i need it to work for Those shifts feel, <laughs> oh my God, yes. I, the car feels so freaking perfect now. The shifter was the one thing that I, I feel like the car was lacking and I didn't even know it. I got so accustomed to the stock shifter that came in the car that I didn't even really realize how much I was missing out on. But wow, that is, incredible i haven't gotten to take this car out for any relatively spirited driving in quite a while it feels really great it's so nice outside today we've got the 600 7 800 horsepower somewhere around there it dropped a lot of power from what it was like i said because of the tune that we put on it we've got it tuned down quite a bit but that's okay because i need practice launching anyways we put solid bushings all over the car we've got a solid shifter now i've got solid seat mounts we've got solid everything that you could imagine so you really feel like you're at one with the car like i said before in a past video it's just really freaking cool anyways guys we're gonna go ahead and head back to the shop so i will see you when we get there all righty guys there we have it the short throw shifter from hearst is installed into the car and it is freaking fantastic if i had to give this thing a review like i said it would absolutely be without a doubt 
10 out of 10, 100% would recommend to anybody. I cannot wait to go try it out. But anyways, guys, I will see you next video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to watch after the outro. Click on the uh, suggested videos. Y'all go check out some of my other videos if y'all want to. So anyways, I'll see y'all next time. I love, I like spraying you on camera. I don't really have too much, huh? You know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm <laughs> <laughs>